Hello and welcome to this Magen Davida Dome special broadcast. I'm Gil Hoffman, the Executive Director of Honest Reporting, Media Watchdog, a veteran journalist, and a speaker from Magen Davida Dome all over the United States. And I'm proud to be hosting here paramedics Oli Shacham and Fadi Dekedik. And we're here at a special time. We're here at a time when Magen Davida Dome and its uh, warriors uh, are around Israel are, are all ready to go just in case Israel's under a threat right now from Hamas, from Hezbollah, from Iran, really seven different fronts that all connect to Iran. Uh, they've threatened to take action against Israel. And uh, so, uh, Oli and, and Fadi, where am I catching you right now? Are, are you ready to go in case something happens? And you catch us at the station, at the main station in Jerusalem. Uh, since, let's say, a few months, or since October 7, Magen David Adom is uh, always preparing himself uh, just for the next escalation. During the few days, as you mentioned, nobody knows what's going to be here in Israel. We all know that probably the Iranian or the Hezbollah will attack we don't know where, we don't know when, we don't know how, but we prepare ourselves, our ambulances, our team all the time. Uh, we keep them in a kind of a stress for the last 48 hours, just to prepare ourselves in case something will happen. Magen David Adom is ready to save all the people. I hope nobody will injure, but in case, uh, we can help them all over the country, especially in Jerusalem region. Uh, please describe more how uh, special this diversity is that you see day in and day out in the ambulances. First of all, we all understand that if you are part of Magen David Adom, you're helping people in Israel, you're saving life in Israel, and it doesn't matter for us, either you're a Christian, a Muslim, or a Jewish, even you're a tourist over here, and... If I'm looking to the history, Magen David Adom is helping people almost all over the world. Tell me about October 7th, how that terrible day was for you and for your work, and, and how's it been since then? I'm sure you've seen your family a lot less with all the the work that Magen David Adom has had to do. Okay. I'm not living in Jerusalem. I'm living in, in Gedera. Gedera is a small city not so far from Ashdod. And I woke up uh, on Saturday, 6.10 or something like this, 6.15, with a siren uh, and rockets around. And at the next 10 minutes, uh, we understood immediately that it's not a, a normal siren, a normal siren, and it's not... Uh, only one missile, it's something different. And my phone starts to ring and all the WhatsApp uh, groups starting to give information. And we all understand that something worse has happened. Now a small story of myself. My father-in-law used to live in Kfar Aza. And Friday, uh, October 6th, my wife said, let's bring my father to our houses. We have a family uh, dinner with all the family, with the children, with the grandchildren. And he's 85 years old. I don't know how many, how long does he going to live and to see all the family together. So let's bring him. We called him and he said, and I told him, listen, I'm sending my daughter to bring you to be with us. He said, no, uh, one of the neighbor over here in Faraza." invite all of us for dinner. We gave a push on him and my daughter brings him uh, to my house. When we finished dinner, he said, okay, can you take me home? I said, listen, I had a long week. We are too tired, all of us. Stay here, go to sleep. In the morning, we'll bring you back to Faraz. <laughs> and all of you knows what happened the next morning. So I woke up with a siren, uh, arranged a small bag with uniform and everything. And on the way to Jerusalem, uh, under siren and rockets, uh, I got uh, a lot of uh, phones and I spoke with all uh, the people 
here in the region with all the uh, my deputies and the people who helped me. And we arrived, all of us, uh, at the station. Immediately, we called all the volunteers, all the employees people. We arranged all the ambulances. Uh, on the first hour, around uh, 7 in the morning, we sent uh, four teams from Jerusalem to the south with the armored ambulances, paramedics and uh, drivers. And they arrived over there with our armored ambulances and start to treat people and saving life over there. And since this morning, the next day I arrived home was after three days. And since then, yeah. we continue to keep uh, stress at the people all the time, not to uh, sit and think nothing will happen. We're thinking all the time what could help happened or what are the things that we have never thought about it. October 7 changed all our mind in Magen David Adom and all over the country. We understood that if you think normally, it won't happen. If you're trying to think out of the box, that's the thing that could happen and uh, you don't know what to do. I want to uh, say another thing. Uh, I, we, in October 7, after October 7, a few days, uh, we have a surprise here in uh, Jerusalem. My neighbor was killed in uh, in, uh, in uh, Faraza or, or in, in the, this area. Uh, is a um, is a bus driver. When uh, she's mom uh, know that he's killed, uh, uh, Hamas killed him. Killed him. Uh, you know she's calling us and ask how can she's came to Magen David Adam uh, to. Uh, donate blood to Jewish people. We uh, we uh, not forget she, what she said. Today I know uh, what's the 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 true face for the Jewish people, and I know that's all the years uh, Hamas uh, uh, liar about uh, what they do. Today we know that uh, they want just to kill people. They don't uh, care is Arabic, Jewish, Christian. They don't care. Just they want to kill uh, people, and this is the uh, um, this is a very uh, this was a surprise for us. You know, when the the, the Arabic people came to Magen David Adom to donate blood for the soldier to to saving lives, it's it's a it's a very it's a very good. Do you think that coexistence and true peace are, are still possible? Yes, yes, yes. They believe that uh, we can live together. We can be safe together. Uh, we can do a lot of things together. But, you know, uh, today they know that they cannot hear uh, all of the all of the people they said the Israel want to kill Arabic people. Israel want to kill a Palestinian people. Israel want to uh, to throw them from the the uh, from the day houses. That's not a truth. That's not happened in Jerusalem. That's not happened in the in the, the state. I think it's uh, available. I think it's a uh, it's will be good. Will be good in this uh, in this area. In America today, there's so much misinformation about Israel's relationship with the Arabic community within Israel. How can we part of, how can we, the, the, the people watching this, be part of getting the word out of, about the truth uh, that Magen David Adom promotes day in and day out well, with the uh, work that they do saving lives all over Israel, especially here in Jerusalem? To get the information, you must come and see it by your eyes. Even if we'll come and explain by Zoom or by a meeting or by phone, you won't understand it until you see it by your eyes. And what I mean to see it by your eyes, you can come and found in some of the shift here in Magen David Adom in Jerusalem, or even in Magen David Adom in other cities that living, Muslims and Jewish together, 
you can come and see on the same ambulance there will be a Muslim paramedic and a driver who is a Jewish religious guy, or opposite, it could be a Muslim driver, EMT, and a paramedic who is a religious Muslim guy. And they all work together and they are arriving to saving life, uh, lives or at the area of East Jerusalem or at the area of Mea Shearim. That's a religious Jewish community. So you have to see it by your eyes. And if you're coming here, we can take you to some of the villages in East Jerusalem that people, the Jewish people are living together nearby the Muslim one. And they all live together with a true cooperation between them, uh, sitting together in the afternoon drinking coffee. The only issue with peace or not peace, it's a political issue. Because human people, and especially people that belong to Megan David Adom, want peace. Last uh, year, uh, during April, uh, all the holidays of the Jewish, the Muslim, and the Christian came together on the same month. Right. Now, you know, Magen David Adom is working 24-7, uh, and you cannot close the ambulances. So we had a problem. So what, what should we do? We spoke with all the employees and the volunteers, and it doesn't matter if they're Jewish, Christian, or a Muslim. And the Muslim said, listen, the, for the Jewish people, we know that uh, Pesach is in the weekend, and the weekend is very important for them. So we will come to work during the weekend. And during the week, it's very important for us, for the Muslim, because of the Ramadan and the fasting issue, so the Jewish people uh, walking during the week. So that's the uh, something unique here in Magen David Adom in Jerusalem that everybody is taking a side and doing something for the other side to complete the whole picture. I want to thank you, Ori and, and Fadi, for proving it uh, in the work that you do every day with Magen David Adom, saving lives together in such a beautiful way. And thank you for your time here on such a busy day when Israel is under threat. For all the audience and the people who are watching us right now, um, we're very sorry that we're doing it uh, by uh, Zoom and we're not, uh, we couldn't come to see you by face and speak with you uh, about all this issue because of the bad situation that we have for the last uh, few weeks or few months here in Israel. Um, after what's happened two weeks ago in Lebanon and Iran, situation has become worse. And we, as uh, the people in Magen David Adom, our mission is to save life in Israel. And we cannot afford ourselves to leave the country in this kind of situation, to leave the organization in this kind of situation, we have to be here. Uh, as the manager of the region, I have to be here with my people. I have to prepare for uh, everything that could happen in case of missile, terror attack, et cetera, and et cetera. And that's the reason why we are staying here in Israel, uh, continue to prepare ourselves just in, I hope it won't happen, but if it will happen, and the Hezbollah or Iran, or I don't know who will try to attack our country. Okay, we have an um, Israeli Defense Force, very strong, very smart. I'm sure they know to do the job, but still, if people were injured over here, Magen David Adom needs to stay over here in the country, treat them, take them to the hospital, and save lives. Ori, and I want to, to say one thing, without your support or your American support, we cannot uh, continue to do what we do here in Israel. We do a lot of amazing things. We save lives. Thank you for all.